How's it looking? <laughs> That's not bad. What's up everyone, welcome to this episode. Um, first off, just thanks for hitting play. Uh, it means a lot, there's a lot going on in the world and a lot of noise and uh, you're taking the time to watch this means a lot. Um, as I was editing this, this episode, uh, I, it really occurred to me that it felt super average and like, why is this important? You know, there's a lot of pro triathletes putting out videos right now and all day in the life and training day and whatever and to me as I put this together, it sort of felt like that and I was, just kind of brought back to why I started video in the first place and why I want to share anything with anybody and that's to bring something new to the table um, share something that's you know a little bit unique or my own perspective and I had to really think about that objectively as I made this video so the whole point of this episode was just I wanted to kind of draw a little bit of attention to why we were leaving Oregon and coming down to San Diego and the big thing behind that is is indoor training versus outside training. And I know a lot of people can hammer that out, they can sit on Swift, they can sit on the trainer and just like knock it out day after day, but um, for me and for Paula, that's just really not, you know, not realistic. It's not why we got into the sport in the first place. Um, and halfway through that, that bike session, um, we realized that that had to be the last four hour rides that we did inside. Uh, and the next one had to be outside because it's just, you know, outside of the wattages, like if I'm doing five minute watts, I can almost always hit like 340 inside and like 375 outside. And it's just like this huge difference. And the inside ones feel harder. And you might just say like, okay, that's fine. It's just effort and whatever. But for me, that's kind of like burning a match and I can get through a set of reps outside with scenery rushing by and like sort of forget about the effort and not burn a match while going faster. And that's something that like, we can't discount. So since the weather was getting all gnarly up there in Oregon, it was raining, it's like the coldest winter we've had in a long time. Um, really just like kind of wrapped up the last few things we had to take care of inside of that week. I got the van ready. I went to Castelli and picked up some gear to ride outside uh, while we're down here in San Diego and uh, then I got on one last run workout. And this run workout is, like I said, I, I, I sometimes feel like things, like it, it's a run workout, how can you do this differently and more special, but uh, for me, um, the fun of working with my dad under the, the banner of Transition 4 is that uh, we kind of collaborate on something like that, you know. I kind of have a, like some visuals in mind of what I want to see and how I want the feel of the workout to look and stuff, and I can kind of talk to him a little bit about it during the warm up. And, uh, and then I kind of have to step back and let him interpret that. Uh, that's that's kind of what we wanted to accomplish with Transition 4. Uh, this run segment just kind of sums it up for me pretty well. Last thing before uh, heading down to San Diego. Hope you enjoy. I don't need you, I got my own back. 